W1VLF. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Paul, W1VLF. And I wanted to do a follow-up on last night's video about common mode choke, chokes and the uh, conducted noise uh, following the coax cable out to the antenna. Um, we're on a different antenna tonight. We're tuned to a center frequency of 60 kilohertz. And this antenna is a loop that is 44 feet in circumference, 11, foot on, 11 feet on a side. It's a diamond-shaped loop, 10 turns. Uh, tightly packed or, or you know tightly bound together and resonated at 60 kilohertz and the signal you see in the very center of the screen is uh, WWVB uh, actually uh, I'm not coupled tightly enough into this loop because there is no increase in the noise floor when I connect the loop to the receiver anyway the reason we're here is I wanted to show you the effect of the uh, common mode choke on a loop antenna. Uh, there were a couple of comments about the, the E-field probe being a very high input impedance and more susceptible to uh, currents on a coax, and that's absolutely true. Um, but I didn't want people to think that there was no benefit if you're running a loop antenna. So let me move my mouse around here a little bit. Let's kind of take a look at this thing. I'm not sure what the heck that is. Uh, a remnant of uh, something going up on upstairs, the television, uh, particularly in here, uh, a bunch of noise. Some of these things are switched mode power supplies. All these guys here on the right hand, on the left hand side, are um, harmonics of my neighbor's dog fence, which I um, haven't asked them to turn to put on the timer yet. And kind of, actually, it's kind of good because you can see what some of these things look like. So, take keep an eye on this one right in here, right in here, uh, and all the rest of these, of course. And you'll see WWVB is very strong. It's almost 10 over S9 uh, on, the, on that big loop resonated. So I'm going to pop the uh, jumper off that I have shorting out the common mode choke, and we'll take another look here. Here goes. All right, so I think I, I was going to try and pause it, but too late. It's off the screen. But you can see a dramatic, dramatic difference. Um, these are uh, lightning hits. And there's still some remnants of uh, the um, dog fence from next door. But I just didn't want anybody to think that there is uh, no benefit to using it if you if you're using a loop. If things are, are making their way out to your antenna, it's best to uh, choke them off inside. I'm going to run over to the uh, common mode choke again, bypass it. Probably be a lot easier if I had it right here in front of me, but um, I don't. So hang on. Oh, and by the way, there still is the um, common mode choke out at the antenna. The only one that I'm removing is the one here in the shack. So we're going to let it run for a little bit. And I'll move this up. And then I'm what I'm going to do is pause it so we can get a good look at what happens here. Here goes. Uh, let me, let me uh, take the shorting jumper out. Okay, so... Here we go, WWVB in the middle here, and where all these other noises are, are coming from, I have yet to find out. Um, that's actually my fault. I should be up there looking for these, but they're somewhere in my house. Turn it back on, and now we'll take a look at WWVB a little bit closer. I'll zoom in a little bit. So you can see, scale how far out of the noise that is and it is uh, I don't know 50 DB out of the noise something like that anyway that's it just wanted to let you guys know thanks a lot for uh, all your support um, your comments and uh, quite a few people subscribed thank you very much 73 w1 VLF 
Signing out from the Ham Shack.